Ugh, a notification popped up. And my recording just stopped. And I noticed when I tried to get a Black Hawk who was flying by in frame. And just had a notification up in the middle. So the first thing I wanted to show was all of these little guys. Look at that. Look at how many. Each of these is a hop comb in the making. And by about mid-September, they're going to be about that big each and ready to harvest. And this entire grove of elderberry is just covered in them. And then it comes up and over this arch. In fact, I'm a little bit worried that the elderberry won't get enough sun. I don't see a whole lot of leaves on the elderberry anymore down here. It's a little bit concerning in that factor. Hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know what'll happen. Oh, there's some leaves. Maybe they're just all in line with each other. So, yeah, hops and elderberries. And then, I do have over here some raspberries in development. I've just left the hose there because even when it rains this pot doesn't get any so I just pretty much every day I turn it on for about 15 seconds just to get something in there. I've been improving, uh, well working on anyway, making some progress here on the pre-existing fire pit that I basically weed killed out. So oh here we go, here he is. Where'd he go? Behind the tree? No. Can you see the hawk up there? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so that's why I noticed my camera wasn't recording anymore. Um, so I've gone ahead and put a lot of compost in between these and I'm trying to make sure they stay weeded, except I want this to all end up covered in the gillweed ground ivy it's called technically so I've got a couple of those moved here and hopefully it'll rain enough that those will take without a whole lot of extra effort but it's doing quite well everywhere else as far as like looking natural on this side unfortunately like I tried right here and you can see how it's gone I do need to still pack dirt in there so I may end up having to pull the ground ivy out just to get the dirt in so that the stones don't rock um, and then eventually, in places like this, where there's just like this really big stick up and I can't reach my foot down, I might need to, uh, in here too, I might need to like dig up some of the rocks and level them. But, uh, yeah, for now that's a big progress. I have several more pyrethrin seedlings that need to get moved up in here, and then I'll be transplanting some just common violets from around the garden into here and noticing things like sumac trees and pulling those out so that's here the um glads are still blooming spill they're so cute and i have new freshly opening ones again and they're up there uh, yeah, so they're kind of all over the place. I really like them. These are also really developing well. Look at how attractive those are. This is the elephant head amaranth. The leaves continue to be very tasty. There's a little bugger guy on there. And these are native to the south portion of the U.S. But, um, and they're supposed to freely reseed, so they ought to, hopefully crossing fingers, they ought to just continue to be in my garden after this year, which is, that's the kind of plant that I like. So it's great salad green, a great um, cooked green, and then amaranth seeds in addition. The strawberries, even though that whole row and that whole row are ever bearing, I haven't gotten any more strawberries. i kind of hoping that's just because they're new this year. We'll find out. Um, there's still development happening in the hardy kiwi department back here.
I'm having to keep a really close eye on these. Get off of me, bug. Because uh, when they're really ripe, they eventually just drop. So it's going to be important for me to have a very close eye on what's going on around here. And it turns out that keeping the vine heavily trimmed allows more energy to go into the fruit. So, uh, for future reference, that's a good thing. Got a butterfly on a tomato branch there and a couple of tomatoes. So they're starting to come around um, into ripeness. Another new glad opening up. My branch training is still going quite well with the the plum here. And again, end of my property. The neighbor actually cleaned up their garden. Look at that. Um, yeah, so there's some tomatoes starting to come in. The cherry has completely dropped its leaves. And... It does look like some of the tips of the branches are starting to shrivel again, so... I might have to do something drastic here. Don't even know. I don't think I recognize this color. This might be a new bloomer. Or it's just getting that old, I don't know. Um... Yeah, so there's like a lot going on here. But mostly what I'm getting is berries and greens this year. The asparagus did really well. That's all of that. The rhubarb behind it is doing really well. I keep getting, apparently I have to do another tent worm treatment. These are popping up on things other than trees, which is really strange. So again, I pulled them out of the hops twice. Uh, apparently now they're back here on a conglomerate of different self-reseeding plants. Uh, so the trick with these is to cut them out completely and throw them in a fire. So I guess I'll be doing that. Little oh, buggers. Note to self, do that tonight. All right, so that's what's going on back here. Dill seeds are going to seed. I love dill seed better than I love the dill leaf. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it's true. And a lot of the peas are still producing, too. A lot of them have died, but a lot of them are still producing. And I'm thinking about, you know, if I stumble across more seeds for this, I will... Like, see? If I stumble across more, I'll probably plant again. I've tried to replant the existing seed, but I guess they need to actually dry or something. Because they haven't been coming up. I've been trying to plant them in the asparagus. I haven't gotten anything. Uh, and the sunchoke is still doing really well. It might actually end up blooming if nothing comes through and just eats it all. But I would really like to have something that holds it off the path because it's really hard to get through there right now. So, yep. It's August 23rd of 2018, and this is what the garden's looking like. Okay, bye.